How to do a pull-up? Many people are confused about this one. Should you do a pull-up like this or like this? So should you pre-activate the scapulas and then pull or depressing them continuously while pulling? Well, the right answer is... There is no right answer. Both ways work. There is no better than the other. They are just different. As you see on these videos, both can be done and none of them are bad or harmful. You can benefit from both, which I'm going to tell you in this video, but first you need to understand the key element of a pull-up. It's really important to own your scapulas, meaning you need to know the scapula movements and build up a decent level of mobility and strength with them. Before you start practicing the pull-up, it's recommended to do scapula preparations such as depressions in hanging, scapula pulls and even inverted rows so you can learn how to position them in these exercises. The goal of these exercises is to teach you how to move this part of your body. The scapula preparation exercises are isolations that you need to integrate into other exercises such as the pull-up in one way or another, so with the pre-activation or continuous execution. It's up to you which one you will prefer. If you skip these preparations, then you almost certainly won't be able to do chest-to-bar pull-ups. As soon as you're lacking scapula stability in the pull-up completely, or even just a little bit, your arms will do most of the work instead of your back, so you won't be able to perform full range of motion reps. I've seen this coming true many times, so I can certainly tell you that you need to have rock solid, maximal scapula control and stability if you want to do chest to bar pull ups. Whichever execution you perform, the right technique is a must, which is the following in terms of scapula movements. While depressing your scapulas in the pull ups, both in the pre activation or continuous execution, you need to externally rotate your arms. This is how you can do maximal depression and enhance the maximal stability, plus, Thanks to this movement, your elbows will look forward rather than to the side. This leads us to the next key point. When you're pulling yourself up, you want your elbows to look forward, then from there, you want to drive them down and finally behind your body. While your elbows are passing the line of your body, you need to add scapular adduction, aka shoulder retraction to the previously done scapular depression. This is how you can engage your back muscles the most and push your chest up to the bar. In my experience, the separated scapula activation, then pulling, requires better body awareness and control. For most people, the continuous execution comes more naturally. But if you build this up consciously from the beginning and you do progressions like this, you can benefit a lot from it in the learning phase. I see athletes preferring this execution who has looser or hypermobile shoulders so they can ensure the right scapula activation right in the beginning of the pull-up. A disadvantage can be a little pause in the movement, which kind of pre-exhausts the muscle, especially if you want to do more reps. I personally like the continuous execution. Here, you need to do the same scapula movement, but not necessarily completely in the beginning and without the pause. You can peak the depression on the top of the pull-up movement aside with the complete shoulder retraction, so basically build it up on the way up continuously. Like this, you can use your strength more efficiently and do more reps. At least, this is what my and my students' experience shows. If you're interested in my full pull-up tutorial, I put it on the end screen, where I tell you everything you need to know. In this one, I just wanted to highlight this part and clarify the confusion. As you see, there are more ways to do nice chest-to-bar pull-ups. The point is the right preparation, the conscious progression and technique. If you want to build a shredded physique like gymnasts have from zero, following my thorough system specifically, just click the link below, sign up today and you get access to all of my programs, tutorials, series and much more. I can also help you personally in the private community in the live Q&As. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe, hit notifications on and see you next week in the next video.